Well, much the same as what Paul runs in the back of his truck. We have the 2000 watt Supersign inverter from Red Arc, paired with the BMS 30 battery management system. And I couldn't be happier or prouder to have this gear in the back of the truck because running all these cameras out in the field, we certainly chew through the batteries. So it's great to be able to come back at the end of the night and plug everything we need in. We've got the BMS 30 readout screen over here. Gives me all the information I need. Currently at 98%, we've got six days left until flat. Now it's not on, so if I put it under some load, it will update, tell me exactly what's going on. Now we've got a basic setup here. We've got a two inch light up here for when the tray is down, so we can do all our cooking here. Obviously the light illuminates that. And then up on the inside of here, we've got an LED strip light, so that lights that up at night. Now, we've got two poles that go in here, and then this slides over the back, and this is our crib. This is where we sleep at night, very simple. We've got all our gear underneath, we've got our straps and all our mechanical gear, so all our sprays, tools, etc. Got our recovery gear on that side. Very simple setup, and it will grow as we get on. I uh, would love to put a rooftop tent on this, and I would love to put a nice gullwing awning on it, just because summertime there is nothing better than getting out and exploring New Zealand and sitting around a campfire at night. I know having this on the back and going full driving, I'm never going to have an issue. And we've also got the HMRF 2000 in the back, which is a wireless transmitter, so I can monitor both my batteries from in cab. We're running 20 inch wheels wrapped with a 33 inch Maxxis Buckshot 2, which is the equivalent and same tread pattern as the Bighorn 764. It is just based for the American market. Now Big Brown did the custom crazy wrap on it. I told him I want some mud splatter on it, I want it to look cool. Gave him creative freedom. This is what we ended up with and I couldn't be prouder to drive this around town every day. Now interior, nothing going on in there except for over here. We've got our 52mm red art gauge, same as Paul, boost and EGT combo. And up here, we've got our HMRF 2000. Now if you come around to the front, this is where it starts to get good looking. We've got the x rocks on here, we've got the lights on here from Force 4. We've got the Nova Winch 12,500 pound on the front, tucked in there. I've tucked the solenoid away under here, and as you can see, I've flush mounted my plug. Now we're running the Factor 55 fair lead on here, which is a monster of a fair lead. Absolutely love this. It's got a ridiculously hard coating on it. And we've got the Factor 55 Ultra Hook on here, which I absolutely love and feel very safe using. Now on that winch, we're running the Trail Gear Duraline ExoShield rope, which is a Kevlar wrap rope. She's very basic at the moment, but we love it. It gets us out, tows that Polaris without a problem, and it's got to tow the Suzuki without even a second doubt of what's behind it. I would love to add roof racks. I would love to add that Gullwing awning in a rooftop tent. We'll get there one day. But for now, we've set it up so that we can still live out of it and we can go camping and go have fun and get stuck wherever we want. <laughs>